हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड दिस लैब इज लिटिल बिट रिक्वेस्ट सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो केयरफुली बिकॉज इन दिस लैब वी हैव टू वर्क ऑन द थ्री प्रोजेक्ट आईडी एट द सेम टाइम सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो एंड फॉलो द स्टेप इन द वे आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग इट विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड ट्रैक यूर प्रोग्रेस इन दिस लैब सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट मे लॉग इन योर क्रेडेंशियल्स एंड वन स्टेन विद दैट जस्ट मे कम बैक ओवर हियर क्लिक ऑन द चेक बॉक्स एंड देन क्लिक ऑन दिस एग्री एंड कंटिन्यू नाउ जिसम बी वेट एंड नाउ इफ यू जिस मे क्लिक ऑन दिस ड्रॉप डाउन ओवर हियर एंड नाउ इफ यू जिस मे क्लिक ऑन दिस ऑल एंड from here you can see all this project id now how can you check on which project id are you are so just me click on this cancel and from here you can see just me cross verify this project id with this so that mean we are in the first project id now what he do now here just me search for the vm instance over here like this way and now just me open this thing new tab now again just me click on this and open this thing new tab now just me come back over here now what he do we have to just me switch this project id into second project id so how can you do that just me come back over here and from here just me copy this second project id copy like this come back over here click on this drop down and now just me search for the second project id click on this link and it's done now again come back over here then copy the third project id come back to the third tab and now just me click over here and now here just me search for the third project id now just me click over here and that's mean we are in the third project id now whenever i said switch back to the first project id second project id or third project id for example if i said just simply switch back to the first project id just simply come back over here and from here you can see this is our first project id okay now what you do just simply come back to the second project id over here and then click on this create instance over here i am again saying please follow the way and do this lab in that way i am explaining it will very helpful for you now what you do in the second project id just simply come back over here and click on the task number 1 now just simply scroll down and from here you can see this name so just me copy this name for your vm instance and make sure that you do not copy any extra space just me copy like this come back over here and now here just me search for the vm name or just me paste the name over here now for the region for me the given region is us east one so for i'm going to choose that for it might be different so just me choose that so i'm going to choose that region and for zone it's c so i'm going to choose that and just simply remember your zone okay now once you done with this two changes just simply scroll down and make sure that the machine series must be e2 now again just simply scroll down and make sure that the machine type must be e2 medium now again just simply scroll down and from here you can see firewall just simply click on the check box for allow http traffic like this way now just simply click on this cross and then click on this create button over here now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what we will do we will move forward with the second vm instance so basically just simply scroll down we will run this command later so just simply scroll down and here you can see from the point number 13 so just simply copy this name carefully do not copy this last full stop just simply copy like this come back over here now here what you do you have to just simply switch back to the third project id so this is our third project id then click on this create instance now just simply paste the name over here and as i said please remember your zone or region so if i just simply come back over here and if you just simply scroll up and from here you can see so for me the given region is us east one and the zone is us west c so i'm going to make the changes so as you can see it's already chosen for me so i'm i'm not going to make any other changes so just make sure of that now just simply scroll down now here you can see machine type just simply choose the e2 and for the machine type it must be e2 medium just simply scroll down now again just simply click on the check box for the allow http traffic now you are done with all the configuration click on this cross and then click on this create so we are done with the first vm instance worker one and this is the second worker one okay now just me switch back to the second project id like this way and then click on this ssh button over here now it will take a couple of seconds so just me wait for that now just me click on this authorize now what you do just me come back over here scroll down a little bit and from here just me copy this first command come back over here and now just me run over here now again just me scroll down then copy the second command come back over here run over here now copy the third command over here copy like this come back over here wait for a second and it's done now just me run the third command over here now you have to just me do the same step on the third project id like this way now click on this ssh button it will take couple of seconds so just me wait for that now 
now just simply click on this authorize now again come back over here scroll up and from the point number eight copy this first command copy like this come back over here wait for a second now run the first command now again just simply scroll down then copy the second command come back over here paste hit enter now copy the third command copy like this come back over here wait for a couple of seconds and run the third command over here and it's done now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and if you just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress for the task number one you will get a green tick over here without any issue and if you get any kind of error that mean you have make any kind of mistake while creating a virtual machines okay so just make sure of that now once you're done with this task one just simply come back over here and just simply close both the virtual machines as I said like this way now this is our first project ID second project ID and third project ID now I switch back to the first project project ID like this way and now here just me search for the monitoring over here now just me click over here wait for a couple of seconds now just me click on the settings over here and then click on this add GCP project over here now just me click on this select project over here and by default the first project ID is already selected for us now just me click on this both the check boxes for the second and third project ID and then click on this select over here wait for a second and then click on this add project ID over here now just me wait and it's done now if you just simply check over here here you can see three project ID is added once you're done with that now what you do just simply switch back to the second project ID okay you have to just simply switch back to the second project ID and then click on this name over here like this way now just simply wait and then click on this edit button over here now what you do just simply come back over here and click on the task number three just simply scroll down now here what you do we have to just simply add the labels over here now i request you please pay attention while adding a label so first of all just simply copy this name as a key copy like this come back over here and then click on this manage label over here make sure that we are doing all the things in second project id then click on this add label paste the name over here and now for the value just simply copy this value come back over here and paste the value over here now now again click on this add label then copy the second key copy like this come back over here paste now again copy the development as a label value just will paste the name over here now make sure that this is our second project id so that's why the value is dev and then click on this save just simply wait and then click on this save it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what we'll do just simply switch back to the third project id and then again click on this name over here like this way and now wait for a couple of seconds and then again click on this added over here now here again we have to add the labels over here now click on this manage over here and now again click on this add label now again come back over here scroll down over here now here you can see we have to just simply switch back to the worker tool that is mean this is a worker tool now what you do just simply copy this key come back over here paste now again copy the value copy like this come back over here and just paste the value over here now again click on this add value now again copy this key come back over here paste now again copy the second value copy like this come back over here and paste over here and as i said for the worker one the value is dev and for the worker two it's test make sure of that thing okay now click on this save and then click on this save now just wait for a couple of seconds over here And as you can see, it's done. Now, if we just scroll down over here, so we are done with this point. Now, I request you please pay attention because I know most of you guys get confused over here. So basically, what you do, first of all, just simply copy this name carefully. Copy like this, and now you have to just simply switch back to your first project ID. So just simply come back over here. Now, here click on this groups over here. Now, I request you please pay attention. Click on this create group. Now just simply wait, click on this unwanted pop-up. Now here you can see name. Just simply click over here. Now here, if you are not able to find the tag type over here, like this one, no need to worry. Just simply wait for a couple of seconds. Again, refresh the page of the first project ID and again click over here and just simply check the name. Are you able to see the tag over here? If, then only move forward with the next task. So basically what you do, just simply paste the name over here, which we copy from the lab instruction page. This name. Now again, come back over here as a type, just simply choose tag and for the tag just simply choose the component over here and for the operator just simply choose equal to and for the value just simply come back over here scroll down then copy this name come back
back over here and just paste over here make sure your page must look like this now here you have to pay attention over here make sure that here you are able to get a two virtual machine is created as you can see it's not mentioning over here so what you have to do just simply refresh the page over here if you do not follow this step you will not get a score on that particular task so again just me come back over here click on this got it now again just me copy the name from here just simply copy like this way come back over here and just me paste over here like this way now for the tag just simply type tag and for the tag this and just me choose a component over here like this way now for the operator just simply choose the equal to and then for the value just me copy this front end come back over here and just me paste over here like this way and then click on this done now just me wait and as you can see it's again showing me one virtual machine is selected again if you face this error again refer to the page otherwise you will not get a score on this task so just make sure of that make sure that here you are able to get a two vms instance currently selected make sure that you have to just make sure of that thing now again refer to the page again just will follow the same steps copy this name paste the name over here click on this tag and then choose this tag this tag then for here just me choose a component and it's equal to and from here just me choose a front end over here and now just paste the name over here now again click on this done just me wait and here you can see finally i was able to get a two virtual machine instances selected once you are able to get a two virtual machine selected on your create group then only click on this create otherwise you will not get a score on that particular task just make sure of that thing now once you're done with the group now what you do we have to create a subgroup so please pay attention first of all just me copy the name for your subgroup copy like this come back over here now here you can see create subgroup just simply click over here now just paste the name over here now again just me click over here and then choose a tag and now for the tag just me choose a component and then for the operator it must be equal to and for the value just me come back over here and copy this value come back over here and just paste over here now again we have to just simply add one new criteria so again just me click on this criteria and then again click over here and now just me choose a tag now if we just simply come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see the for the tag it must be stage so just simply click over here and from here just simply choose a stage over here now for the operator it must be equal to and for the value it's a day value so just simply copy this come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way and then click on this done now just simply wait and as i said for the group it must be two virtual machines selected and for the sub group it must be one virtual machine is correctly selected make sure of that thing okay now for the combined criteria operator it must be and and then click on this create now just simply wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a green tick over here without any issue just simply wait and watch score will update after a couple of seconds so no need to worry about that but you will get a green tick without any issue now for the task number four what you do we have to just simply create an uptime check it's a very easy task just simply come back over here and click on this uptime check over here now just simply click on this create uptime check and from here you can see resource type just simply choose the instance over here now as you can see apply to just simply choose a group and just simply choose a group which we just created so front end survey this is a group which we created dave is a subgroup just simply remember that this is a group okay now for the path just simply type forward slash over here and the check frequency must be one minute now just simply click on this continue and then again click on this continue over here now here you can see notification channel just simply click over here and then click on this manage channel over here scroll down now here you can see email then click on this add email over here now for the email address just simply come back over here and from here just simply copy this username and just simply paste over here now for the display name just simply type quick lab and then click on this save wait for a second and it's done now click on this cross and now click on this refresh button over here now just simply click over here and from here just simply choose this and then click on this okay so we are done with all these things now click on this continue now here please pay attention for the title just simply come back over here scroll down a little bit and from the point number eight just simply copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here and just paste over here and make sure that you do not copy this last full stop just simply copy like this now here please pay attention just simply click on this test and wait for a second you must get a 200 response over here and once you get a 200 response then click on this create like this way now just wait for a couple of seconds 
and it's done now if you just me scroll down no need to perform all these tasks just me scroll down and click on the check my progress for the task number four you will get a green tick over here without any issue now task number five create a custom dashboard it's a very little bit tricky task so i request you please pay attention over here just me come back over here and click on the dashboard over here just me wait and if you are not able to get an option like create dashboard just me click on this cross over here and then you are able to get an option like create dashboard over here now just me wait now here you can see name the dashboard for that just me come back over here scroll down and from here you can see developer front end so just me copy this name carefully copy like this do not copy the lat full stop just me come back over here and refresh the name over here like this way now just me click on this blank space as you can see it's changed now click on this add widget and as a visualization just me choose a line over here now here you can see widget title so just me scroll down and from here just me copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here and just me paste over here like this way click on this unwanted pop-up now what you do just me copy this check pass just me copy this path now just me remember this path okay vm instance uptime check and check pass so what you do just me click on this matrix and here you can say active just simply uncheck this checkbox make sure that you have to uncheck the checkbox now here just me search for the check pass over here now here you can see vm instance just me click over here and then click on this uptime check and then click on the check pass over here you can just me cross verify the path if it's so then click on this apply so we have done with the matrix over here now what you do we have to add a filter over here so just me click on this add filter over here and for the label just me scroll down and from here just me copy this instance id over here come back over here and then click over here and from here just me search for the instance id click over here now if we just me click on this value here you will able to get sometime you are able to get a two instance value and sometimes you are able to get a one instance value you can just simply select any instance value like this way and once you're done with that scroll down a little bit and from here you can see data point alignment just simply click over here and from here just simply choose a count true like this way and for the minimal alignment just simply choose the five minutes over here and make sure that your page must look like this if it's so then only click on this apply so we are done with the first widget now again click on this add widget over here and then again choose the lines over here and now no need to give the widget title just simply click over here and again uncheck this checkbox over here now for the second matrix what you do just simply scroll down so we are done with this point now again just simply scroll down now here you can see just simply copy this cpu utilization just simply copy this come back over here and just simply search over here like this way now here you can see vm instance just simply click over here now here you can see instance just simply click over here and then choose a cpu utilization just simply cross verify the path and then click on this apply now again we have to add a filter so that why just simply copy this name come back over here and click on this add filter over here now here just simply search for the instance name and then choose that now for the value one just simply click over here and from here just simply choose a worker one server if you are not able to get a this value then just simply refer to the page over here okay once you're done with all this configuration just simply click on this apply wait for a second and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress you will get a green tick over here on your not first attempt you might take couple of seconds as you can see on my first time i was able to get a green tick over here but when i tried this lab previously i have to wait for a couple of minutes to get a green tick over here and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any notes please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys